Pretty neat. Now, you may be thinking, why did you go to your grandma's house and steal this shit from her? Like, that's that's rude. Why would you do that? No. Uh, but no. <laughs> so, I've been, I've been looking around for a bowl with basically edges that curl over like that because I need something I can hold insects in, right? Uh, it's, it's pretty hard to find a bowl like that. So, I went to, I went to like, Goodwill, and this was, like, the only bowl in the house that worked. But it was $3.99. So, I mean, $4, and I got a feeding bowl. And it's got, like, a like a lid that was almost like born for this occasion. It's got like holes in it. I don't even know what the hell you would use a container like this for, but it is perfect for insects. So normally, I would feed them with the tongs and I really enjoy feeding them with the tongs. I feel like it's a fun experience and whatnot, but you know, that's not always the most convenient thing in the world. And you know, let's say I need somebody else to feed him and they're not, you know, the fondest of picking up, you know, crickets and cockroaches with tongs and feeding them to a lizard. Well, they can just kind of pick them up and put them in there and just kind of put the thing in there, you know? It actually works out pretty well. So, you know, you just put a few of them in there and you put your, your powder stuff in there, right? And you get them all calcium powdered while they're in there and then you just, you open the lid and you put it in his cage and you let him have at it and he just eats what he wants to eat and if he doesn't eat it all then, you know, you don't have to worry about cockroaches running around in his cage and possibly getting through the cracks and running around in the house or something like that. So you wouldn't have to worry about that necessarily. And then also what you could do is if you wanted to leave it for somebody to feed him, you could, you know, fill it, put the lid on it, you know, just in case like some of the crickets managed to hop out, you could keep them from doing that with the lid and they'd still get oxygen so they wouldn't die in there while they're waiting uh, to be fed to the lizard. And then you could just have somebody you know, later on or the next day or whatever, just take this whole thing and, you know, take the lid off and put it in his cage, which is what we're about to do after we put some crickets up in here. Oh no. We started eating all of them. Looks like. Yikes. Crickets are relentless, man. Mm, so now. We open the latches that keep this beast from escaping. I don't know how I'm gonna do this with one hand. Just saying. Oh, there we go. Oh, hello. Yeah, buddy. You see these? Hello. Oh, look at that. Oh, what's in there? See, and then he just has at it. He goes for the crickets first. Ah. Interesting choice. Interesting choice. Cricket almost jumped out. There's two cockroaches in there, buddy. Whoa, dude. Hey, you're good. Hey, buddy. You see the cockroach? Yes. Sometimes he's not the, uh, the brightest cigar on the, uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> 